how the workspace appears will depend upon which workspace layer is currently active. We'll be using default for most of our work in this course, but other workspaces are useful to specific workflows and we'll pop into some additional ones as we find the need to do so. As you can see from up here, we are currently in the default workspace. You can switch to any other workspace by simply clicking on it, and these double arrows are going to give us additional workspaces to choose from. Each workspace has its own set of tools and panels. If you need to reset any of the workspaces, such as default, you can click on these three little bars here and choose to reset to save layout. Note that you can also save any of your configurations as a new workspace. For the default workspace, we have our file browser right here. So any files that we're currently working on will appear in this area. Immediately below that, is the media browser where we can locate files if we wish. There's also the effects rack where we can stack our different effects for our file. We have markers and properties. Properties will give us all the properties of the currently selected file. Below that we have our history where we can see the different edits that we've done and roll them back if we need to. And if we're dealing with video, we have a little video preview here. This comes in very handy if we pull in a video file to tweak the audio. Aside from that, we have our basic editor. The editor is going to allow us to preview a waveform and to make specific edits against it in waveform view or spectral view. Immediately below that is our levels. This is super important, especially when recording because we have to make sure that our levels are high enough and not too low, but again, not too high either because we don't want to clip our audio. This is also useful for seeing the noise floor when everything is quiet. We then have the essential sound panel, which allows us to do simple direct things to our audio using some presets and so forth. And immediately below that, we have our selection slash view panel. So here we can see what we have selected at the time, the start and end times for that, and the duration, and for our particular view. So what's actually showing up in the editor as opposed to the length of our full file. Again, note that every one of these different workspaces will be configured a little bit differently. The default workspace is really going to serve us well for most of this course.